Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Last year was one for the financial record books, that's for sure, but for all the wrong reasons. And what's the latest on our national debt situation? More importantly, how could these things impact your retirement? Well, Eric has some answers for us. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'll start off by giving you the phone number, 800-454-1184. That is the number that you can text toolbox to. We are going to set you up with a digital toolbox, not actually a real toolbox like the old Sears ones, but a digital toolbox that in it has the Worry Less Wealth book that Eric has written. Of course, he's been an author for years. And then a whole bunch of other educational materials that you can download. So excellent stuff for you to get. You can text the word toolbox to get it. 800-454-1184. And don't forget, you can always check us out online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. And Eric, hello to you. Hey, Luann. Yeah, it's, uh, the toolbox is great. It's got some great information about, uh, you know, like, are you paying too much in taxes? Will your money last? Uh, when should I turn on Social Security? So a lot, a lot of great things that we've tried to, like, compile into one spot. And so, yeah, that's, again, that, that Wealth Creator Toolbox. So uh, uh, something new that, we're, that we have for people. So it, it's going to be great thing for people to get a lot of good information because it's really a nowadays is you, know, you got to know what's out there and know what's right and know what's good information versus bad information since you, you hear all sorts of stuff. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we want to make sure it's the right stuff. Yeah. I mean, these are free tools that Eric is providing you, uh, possibly ways to transform your worries of retirement into confidence. That's what we want for you. Let's get down to business here. Our national debt. Okay, now over $31 trillion. We hit that debt ceiling in late January. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says, oh my gosh, federal government, you got to get busy. Take some extraordinary measures to not default on our debt. White House is encouraging Congress to raise the debt ceiling. But McCarthy's message to President Biden is we've got to have a responsible debt ceiling. So I want you to hear what he had to say here. So the longer he waits, the more he puts the fiscal jeopardy of America up for grabs. We should sit down and get this done and stop playing politics. Hmm. Stop playing politics. Isn't that what got us here? Both sides. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. No. The sad part is this whole thing is all politics, 100%. Um, You know, it's really one of these things where it says, okay, we... You know, here's our credit card limit, and you can spend up to there and no more. And then when we hit it, we don't do anything, but then we fight over it and, you know, did this under Trump, under Biden. You know, almost every presidency's had this same issue. Uh, you know, so the, the sad part is, you know, government spending's, you know, shot up a lot since 2017 massively so uh, you know that that's that's the sad part is is the fact that you know not since uh back in clinton gingrich days did they actually actually stop playing politics and had budget ballots uh amendments and other things that they were trying to do and you know at least they got things you know uh a little bit more under control but yeah, yeah now there doesn't seem to be much willingness to do either way so it's just in terms of a stop playing politics it's more like okay here give me my my things and then we'll we'll raise the limit and <laughs> now hopefully they don't do the stupid stuff like they did a few years ago where you know all of a sudden federal employees weren't getting paid and mm. you know they were having to go and you know get government assistance and all this other stupid stuff because of you know really again an artificial means really is really what this is all about um, it does disturb the markets for a little bit too so you know hopefully they can just get over it and, and figure out how to do that but uh, yeah uh, let's see some actual you know policies that stop spending or lower spending and uh, we haven't seen any of that in a long time so Eric again you know I always like to refer this back to retirement how is this federal debt going to have an impact on retirees overall well, there's two big things. I mean, um, so a lot of times in my my live events that we have, uh, you know, I'd like to post this one slide because I I'd done a snapshot of the uh, the debt in October of 2017, um, and that was um, it was at 20 trillion. Uh-huh. Fast forward three years later, in October of 2020, when we we're only six months into COVID, it already jumped to 27 trillion. So it was thirty percent increase in just those few years. Right. Uh, that was not COVID related, uh, you know. So that was mm-hmm. government spending related. And then, of course, now 
another four trillion on that. So we've gone up over fifty percent in you know just since twenty seventeen. Um, so what does that affect you? Well, as we have more debt to pay, then that means more of the tax dollars we pay have to go to literally just paying interest, right? Mm. And now with the Fed having to raise rates, the number one borrower is the federal government. And so they're raising rates on themselves, which is, seems a little crazy, right? To fight inflation, they're having to raise rates on themselves, <laughs> which means now even more tax money is going to go to to interest payments. And of course, that leaves less things to other things, uh, you know, other programs, other things that need to be spent, you know, money spent on. So, um, you know, what does that mean to you? Well, it means your tax bill ain't going to ever go down, no matter what any politician says, <laughs> they're going to have to keep going up. And, yeah. and if you've got a lot of money in pre-tax stuff, right, 401ks, 457, 403b, all, all IRAs, all that stuff, uh, that's fully open to the the you know to Uncle Sam to change the rules and raise the rates and do whatever they need to do. So, you know, really for retirees and anybody getting I you know within five to ten years of retirement, really needs to be thinking about okay, what's their tax bill and how much of their money is all in that pre-tax stuff? Because of if they can move some of that out of there and protect it, then you know by doing either Roth conversions or moving to something that that grows tax-free. There's a lot of options out there, but you gotta have some planning, and of course, you can't do it all at once. You know, it'd be too painful to you know, too big a tax bill if you try to just about face and and pay all the tax right away. So you want to do this over several years. So, yeah, it is time to to act. Um, right now, the current tax law goes away at the end of twenty, um, you know, in twenty twenty six. So, um, you know, which used to sound like a long ways away, but you know, look, getting pretty close now. So, <laughs> yeah, you have a few years to get take care of this. So. You know, again, that'd be something to look at because we do have a um, in the toolbox. We do have something that's talking about: Are you paying too much taxes in retirement? So that'd be you know, one of those tools. But also, um, you know, will your money last? And finding the right balance of, of things, and along with Social Security, and and also uh, you can get some some of the book there. So, you know, if that's something you want to take advantage of, uh, it's a all digital uh, toolbox there that you can grab. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to eight hundred four five four eleven eighty four. Again, text word toolbox. 800-454-1184 or you can download it directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. And you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. So happy to have you along today. So Eric, conventional wisdom says, you know, when we're younger, we need to have our money in stocks. And then when we're older, as we get closer to retirement, it should be in bonds. But should we change that way of thinking now with today's economy? Well, I've I've been changing that way of thinking for the last twenty years for my clients. Oh. <laughs> so uh, I've never been a big fan of bonds. Um, the whole reason for bonds is because you know they're low, lower volatility. But uh, the problem is forever they weren't paying much, and now the opposite, right? They lost a bunch of money as rates go up. So low volatility and losing money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not really things I want my, my clients to have. So, you know, what we do instead is we use some foundational assets. There's there's assets there right now that can earn up to double digit returns with, with no risk to their principal. Um, and, you know, so th- those are things that, uh, you know, that are out there that, that can be a great option. Um, sometimes they have a little less liquidity, but... You know, that's one of those things where you just have to figure out what's the right things, you know, what the right products. And there's a lot of low volatility uh, investments. And you know, a lot of the ones we used last year didn't go down. They kind of stayed flat, but they didn't lose the, you know, 15 to 20 percent that everything else was basically losing. So there are a lot better options. I mean, really what you have to do is you have to have that income plan, knowing how much money you need to have for the rest of your life and then figure out what tools that you need to put behind it. And, you know, again, that's something that where if somebody wants to spend some time with us, they can talk to us and stuff. But, you know, before that, if you want to just check out that that online toolbox, you know, find out about Social Security, find out about the right amount of balance between stocks, bonds, or other investments, and uh, making sure that money will last. So, you know, again, if that's something you want to grab a hold of, uh, all you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, 800-454-1184. Or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And we'll be right back with more of Wealth Creator Radio and Eric Heckman. 
If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. There's a particular time of life this phrase couldn't be more appropriate. How can you know you'll live the retirement you've always imagined? After all, life can be so unpredictable. You've worked hard and saved. Watch your accounts go up and down with the market. Your advisor says, don't worry, you'll be fine. But you still don't feel confident. Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial has a checklist to help you find out if you're on the right track for retirement. Take his checklist challenge. If you can check all the boxes with confidence, you may be ready for retirement. If not, Eric can help you address any potential costly mistakes. To get Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial's complimentary checklist, call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. See if you've got it right. Take the checklist challenge today. Call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principle. Hey, thanks for joining us today. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Remember, you can get this Wealth Creator Toolbox. It's a digital toolbox that Eric and his team offer you every single week. All you have to do is call 800-454-1184 and just text the word toolbox. And in that, it's complimentary. You can get Eric's book that he wrote and a bunch of other educational materials that are there for you. This is our offer for you today. There can be so much excitement when you're going into a brand new phase of life life, especially retirement. You see it every single day. You help retirees. You've been helping them retire every single day. And if someone is relocating maybe to their dream retirement home, maybe they're downsizing to a smaller home or a condo or townhouse, something like that. We're going to have to do some decluttering, right? It's it's just that time of life because you got a lot of stuff that you have to get rid of. And so um, I have for you a guy that wrote the book literally on downsizing. He's a retired professor now, but he talks about, you know, how you should confront the possessions of your life. I want you to hear what he had to say first. He's a professor from the University of Kansas. Here's what he said. You really can't delegate the management of paper to other people. You have to look at all of it. And one piece of paper can stop you for hours because you'll discover something that needs to be done or somebody who needs to be contacted. And hours and hours of work on paper really doesn't reduce uh, the volume of uh, things that are in, for example, a desk or a, or a kitchen, but it has to be done. So that would be a great place to start. Now, Eric, I, I got to ask, how many times have you and your family moved in, in your life? Have you been in that one house for a long time? Yeah, no, we've, we've been here for 20 years. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, don't have to do that very often. But yeah. uh, no, I, I would say the number one thing that my clients tend to do when they first retire is actually declutter their house. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is one of those, you know, ironic things. Now, obviously, if they're moving or downsizing physically to a different house or a different location, then it's got a lot higher priority. And, you know, so I've had a lot of clients doing that too. And yeah, they're, they're always amazed at how much stuff they have and how much stuff they didn't need. And I mean, you know, some, some of the stuff he's talking about with the paper, uh, yeah, most of all that stuff you can just toss, um, you know, or take to one of those places that shreds Shred it in bulk, it, yeah. you know, or whatever. But I mean, first of all, get a lot of stuff online, stop getting any paper if you can. And um, nowadays, like statements that you get, even if you like to get the statements on paper, they're really not something that you have to, uh, you know, keep all those things because nowadays you can just log on and get last year's statements or the year before statements and the year before tax stuff, right? So, I mean, the only thing you probably really do want to keep is actual you know, tax returns and stuff, mm. uh, you know, but nowadays with things like, you know, Google Drive or Dropbox or, you know, all these different online storage places that you can do, you can store a lot of this stuff online and have huge amounts of paper there. And, you know, that just gets rid of a lot of the junk, right, mm. uh, you know, off the bat. But but then there's all that other stuff that, you know, you accumulate too that you often don't need. And um, I mean, probably the funniest story I had was my our old, old next door neighbor when they were moving from their house. uh they had no idea where they were going to move to. Oh. They just ended up, you know, buying or uh, reserving six one month Airbnbs in different parts of the country just wow. to kind of check out things. And huh. they downsized to, uh, you know, just a, like, three suitcases that they traveled with and then some sentimental other stuff. They, they put it in one storage thing and, huh. you know, we're going to have it shipped afterwards. But 
the funny part was every time he went for a jog, he would just throw away his clothes. He wouldn't wash them because he's, <laughs> he's like, you know, you'd have all these old T-shirts and shorts and things that you had. So he would just <laughs> throw the trash. So that was the one way how he was getting rid of the stuff. So, uh, you know, so, yeah, if, if you just try to keep less junk there, mm-hmm. you know, it, it does really help out. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of that, especially the financial stuff. I mean, I've seen people where, you know, back in the old days where they used to mail you back your checks. Oh, my gosh. I, mean, yes. I had a client yes. who had those from the 80s and she wanted them all scanned in i'm like nobody's going back for these uh-uh, things nobody's uh-uh. coming for this stuff right so i mean the only thing that probably gets people the most is if you go sell your house you do have to prove how much you've paid in improvements over those years so uh, any home improvements you definitely want to keep uh, anything that's you know if you if you bought a stock and you had it a long time ago you probably might need those brokerage statements if they're really old if it shows your cost basis on your statement, then you're fine. But it's just if you had those stocks from like, say, pre-2010, then sometimes you might need those records. But beyond that, no. I mean, most of that stuff you really don't need. Most of it's easily stuff that you can get. I mean, that's one of those things where, where people have to, you know, have to be thinking about, okay, how, you know, do I really need all this stuff? And would life be a lot easier if I just tossed most of it? And yes, it would be a lot nicer. Right. Oh my <laughs> and you'd gosh. have a lot more room. And, you know, and, and so, you know, one of the things that we do also to uh, keep down the clutter is we have a digital toolbox that people can get. And uh, again, you can print these if you really want to. But again, we urge you just to have them digitally. It goes over Social Security. It goes over uh, paying too much in taxes. Will your money last? It even has some chapters of my book, Worry Less Wealth. Uh, you can even set an appointment there if you want to have more questions. But I think this digital toolbox is a great resource of stuff that is important. It's pretty quick. And again, it doesn't have to be printed. So it won't clutter up your house more if you get it. So uh, again, if you want this digital toolbox, all you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800 454 1184. Again, text word toolbox 800 454 1184, or you can link to it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And we thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial right here in San Jose. Eric, how often do people come to you thinking they have a financial strategy, but what they really have is a pile of statements or a shoebox full of account information? Well, yeah, no, I've actually, uh, I had somebody bring in a basket. He had a basket system. He's, oh. He would put everything in a basket until it filled up and then he'd get a new basket. <laughs> <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't even open the statements. What? He didn't even know where his money was. Uh, but he just kept, kept putting all the statements in there. So yeah, that's not the way to do it. Um, yeah, no, I, I find a lot of people, especially, you know, in Silicon Valley where they've maybe jumped jobs, jumped you know, tech companies or whatever, uh, you know, they can sometimes, uh, I don't even need to go to their LinkedIn profile. I can just look at their financial statements and they'll tell me where they all worked, you know, for the last 10 or 15 years, because they'll have all these old accounts there. So, you know, that's one of the problems is lots of times people think they're diversified. They think they've got lots of money in places, but they've got so many different accounts. They can't even really understand how diversified they are or are not. And it makes it really hard just to manage it. So, you know, anytime you leave any sort of 401k um, at an old company, you can always roll that to an IRA. And usually, almost always, that's that's the right call to make, um, just because then you can, you know, have your new 401k and then have your IRA. And then if you change jobs again, again, roll it over. And then that way you don't have all these different accounts. Because one thing too is a lot of times when you have all those different uh, funds, you'll end up thinking that you're pretty diversified, but then you have 10 funds that are all basically investing in the same stuff. One of those first things that sometimes we do is just tell people, okay, let's just first coordinate and get all this stuff combined into one, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So true. So, Eric, with the information that you guys do uh, help accumulate from your retirees, tell us what goes into creating that comprehensive retirement income strategy, please. Yeah. So what we do is here is we, we create that blueprint to worry less wealth. Uh, we want you to worry less about your money and more about having fun, going on cool trips or doing stuff in retirement. and to do that, you need kind of five areas. One is you need to have that income. You need to make sure your income, you know, once your paycheck stops, where's the money going to come from? Always a little freaky and scary. And so where's that money going to come from for the rest of your life? Is it going to last with inflation, with taxes, everything? And then that tells us from there how you should have it invested. So then we have to see, is it actually invested to match that income need? And, you know, you need stuff that pays out, not just stuff that, that grows because you need it every single month, right? And then you also need to look at the taxes, not just this year, but 
all years and seeing how that that tax is going to have a ramification on those that income and that investment. Uh, obviously, healthcare is a big issue. Pre sixty five, post sixty five, long term care, and then uh, lastly, legacy. Who's going to get your assets when you're gone? And so, those are the five areas that you really need to make sure you're, you're well focused on. And you know, make sure you've got that that blueprint. Um, you know, one of the things we do when people first talk with us is uh, we'll find out what kind of issues you have, what kind of concerns, and then we can actually build out that blueprint. We don't charge a fee right now for that. So, you know, take you through that whole process, say what's, hey, this is working, this isn't working. Um, and this is what you should be doing. And, um, you know, here's some things you might want to fix. And then it's up to you if you want to work with us or not. But, you know, again, if you want to take advantage of at least finding out what's out there, finding out what little bit of information that we've provided to you, uh, you know, we've got Social Security information, are you paying too much in taxes, and will your money last, and finding that balance you know, in your retirement plan. So again, if that's something you, you want to get advantage of, it's totally free. Uh, all these digital toolbox uh, items are uh, very simple to get. All you do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. 1184, or you can download it directly at Wealth Creator Radio. Dot com. You know, decluttering and downsizing are a couple of non-financial challenges. So we're going to get into more things you need to prepare for in retirement coming up next. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. There's a particular time of life this phrase couldn't be more appropriate. How can you know you'll live the retirement you've always imagined? After all, life can be so unpredictable. You've worked hard and saved. Watch your accounts go up and down with the market. Your advisor says, don't worry, you'll be fine. But you still don't feel confident. Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial has a checklist to help you find out if you're on the right track for retirement. Take his checklist challenge. If you can check all the boxes with confidence, you may be ready for retirement. If not, Eric can help you address any potential costly mistakes. To get Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial's complimentary checklist, call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. See if you've got it right. Take the checklist challenge today. Call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principle. Hi, thanks for joining us today. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. And of course, today, Eric is offering his Wealth Creator Toolbox. Now, this isn't one of those toolbox like you buy at Sears or you used to get at Sears, but it's a digital toolbox. And in it has a lot of complimentary things for you just for listening today. Of course, his book, Worry Less Wealth, you can get that in there. And then also some other educational materials all about retirement. And it's all digital, so you can download those. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. That's how you can get all of this information complimentary from Eric and his awesome team at Heckman Financial. 800-454-1184. Now, there is so much excitement when you're starting a brand new phase of life. And today we're specifically focusing on what happens when you go into retirement. You might be downsizing for the very first time in a long time. So we've been talking about the non-financial challenges of getting all that done. But retired professor David Eckert literally wrote the book on downsizing. He has a book. Uh, He wrote it when he was just retiring himself, too. He says, you know, we do have to get rid of a lot of stuff we've accumulated over the years. He said, while it's a challenge, it's a good feeling to declutter and downsize. Here's what he says, Eric. And we studied people in, in over 100 households in the Midwest, um, people with large households and people with very modest households. Almost everybody was glad after they moved that they had been able to downsize and they felt very good about what they did. They felt empowered. It's like, you know, spring cleaning or <laughs> reorganizing a garage or something. So you see this a lot, don't you, Eric? No, certainly. And, and it is one of those things where... You know, once you get rid of a lot of that junk and you realize you didn't need it in the first place and, you know, why did I buy all this, all these silly things or, you know, and also it might be stuff that, you know, you had when you had kids and now they're all grown and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, I remember one, uh, I was still in college and my parents told me, uh, my sister said, okay, you guys have a, you know, a couple of weeks to pick this stuff up and, or else we're just throwing it all out. 
<laughs> and I was like, what? Why all of a sudden? But it obviously just did one of those downsizing and decluttering yep, yep. <laughs> exercises and said, get this stuff out of our house. <laughs> so yeah, no, I think, it, I think we all feel better when there's not a lot of stuff. Cause you know, when you see a bunch of mess someplace or you see a, you know, whatever, it's a drawer you can't use or um, a cabinet that's full of stuff that you don't even care about anymore. <laughs> you know, once that thing's empty, uh, yeah, definitely feel, it makes you feel better. Well, I'm sure there are also plenty of financial planning steps that feel like a challenge to get through and make us all want to procrastinate about. So why don't you tell us about those now, Eric? Yeah, well, you know, the biggest one is uh, lots of times wills or trusts, uh, getting that trust in place. Uh, and I'm always amazed how many people have grown kids and they still have never done a, a will or a trust. It's like, well, guess you didn't need that guardian. So that was yeah, good. Right. A um, little late now, but those are things that can be a mess if, if you leave your estate you know, not, not set up right. So that that's one that uh, I think a lot of us avoid. And you know, it is it is super critical because if anybody's ever gone through the process of settling somebody's estate, if it's organized, it's a mess <laughs> or in a lot of work, right? But if it's, you know, if it's oh, a mess, yeah. it's really, a, it could be a full-time job on top of your regular job. So, you know, those would be, you know, one of the big ones. Uh, but really just also trying to figure out, you know, how much do you spend a month, right? How much are you spending on a, a typical basis? And, you know, are you leaving room there for having fun? Because obviously when you got seven days a weekend when you're retired versus two, uh, you know, you can off, go off and do more things. So are you leaving budget for that? And are you planning for help, medical costs and, you um, especially dental? Dental gets to be a pretty big price uh, price tag thing and, and you know, once you're over 65 and, you know, all those types of things. So, you know, really just having to make sure that, that you have those, you know, built in your budget. I mean, I, I had a client literally, she looked, said, look at my teeth, $28,000 I got in there. You know, they, when I die, they better be on display because, you know, she couldn't believe she spent so much money in their mouth. Wow. And, uh, you know, and so, you know, those are kind of the, the silly, weird things that people don't you know necessarily think about, but it, it is true. Those are the things that that are going to be there that, that you need to do. And then, you know, also just making sure that you have your assets in the right spots. Um, because if you have 100% of the money in the market, oh my gosh, you, you know, you've just got so much risk. And when you need that money every single month, yeah, that's not going to be the answer. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, these all these topics, so important. Why is it that so many of us procrastinate and just almost freeze and don't do these things that we know we need to do before we retire? Well, should I answer that later? Oh, no, sorry. I've just been <laughs> trying to wait on it, right? No, just kidding. We, we all want to do things later, right? Um, so, yeah, no, we, we're all horrible about that, right? If, if there's no deadline, um, you know, I mean, one of the things is when people start to retire, I, I have had people where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm retiring this week or next week, and, you know, I need to start doing my plan. It's like, what? <laughs> you know, so lots of times it's, you know, maybe somebody in their family passed away and left a mess and now all of a sudden they want to do their will or trust, right? There's a lot of things that f finally trigger you to have action. It's just sad that you don't do it ahead of time. You know, and some of it's because people perceive it not being fun, which, okay, probably not. Uh, you know, it's probably a lot more fun to plan that big trip to Europe or something like that. But, uh, you know, the part people don't get is you could probably have a lot more trips to Europe if you planned your finances first <laughs> instead <laughs> of planning that trip to Europe. Yeah. So, you know, what you have to do is you have to just kind of say, okay, hey, uh, you know, I got to be a, an adult here or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I, I got to make sure I get these things done and, and, you know, give yourself a deadline saying, hey, I'm going to have this done by this date. And having a deadline is always a wonderful thing. So, um, you know, but I mean, one of the things that we do, we can set up a time, a 15, 30 minute phone call, answer any questions you have. But, you know, the other thing that, that we did is we created this digital toolbox where you can find, you know, ways that for women to empower themselves a lot more or how to make sure your money's going to last. Uh, which should you be thinking about with social security decision? And, you know, are you paying too much taxes? Uh, you know, these are all digital resources that we have along with my book, Worry Less Wealth. And, uh, you know, these are all set up all in one little spot that makes it super easy. And, you know, at least if you read about this stuff, maybe you can say, okay, this is one of the action items I'm going to do and I'm going to put a deadline on for myself. So, you know, again, if you want to get access to that toolbox, all you got to do is text the word toolbox to 800 
800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. Or you can download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. One final tip from retired professor David Eckert, who wrote that book on downsizing. Um, he says, yeah, we can get emotional and frustrated about all the stuff that we accumulate over the years, maybe even with our family members that we're trying to help. But also people get emotional about financial decisions. How can planning in advance help prevent that, Eric? Well, I mean, actually on the um, sentimental things, by the way, that is the number one area more than actual financial issues that I see after somebody dies that that cause more pain and more conflict. Uh-huh. It could be grandma's painting or whatever it is. And, you know, and so that's one thing where, you know, just writing down any sentimental type of issues and, you know, into a will or a trust, you know, having that set up and even take pictures of things. If somebody wants something, you know, have that in there. Um, but yeah, people do get a, a lot of emotion, of course, in the stock market, a lot of emotion in investing and you know, one of the reasons why, you know, you, you have somebody else help you manage that stuff is because then at least they're doing it and, and you're, they're not going to be as emotionally attached. They're not going to overreact and panic. And, you know, hopefully they'll also tell you, hey, is this really a real crisis or is this something that's, you know, you're not going to remember in three or four years from now, right? And and that lots of times that's what's happening in the market. But also, they may also say, well, hold it. You you know, the reason you're freaking out so much is because, you know, you're getting so emotional because you have so much more risk than you should have. You know, you need to have a better plan. And by having that plan, then you're not going to have all, all those worries and concerns. And that's literally why my book is named Worry Less Wealth and why we do the blueprint to worry less wealth is <laughs> to make people not worry as much <laughs> and have more fun and enjoy life. So, you know, again, that that's one of the things that you know, that, that we really try to help people with. Um, but we did set up this digital toolbox to you know, really get people to have a lot more information about Social Security, if you're paying too much in tax, how, how to make sure your money lasts, and even some, even my book, Where Less Wealth is there. So, you know, if you want to get access to that, all you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. Or you can download it directly at Wealth Creator Radio. Com. We'll be right back with more of Wealth Creator Radio and Eric Heckman right after this. Things you can do in 15 minutes. Walk the dog. Make a smoothie. Meditate. Now you can add creating a personalized retirement plan to that list. Schedule your complimentary 15-minute call with Heckman Financial Services today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184. Keyword. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Welcome back to Wealth Creator Radio. This is Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. And I've got one of my monthly contributors here, my expert on reverse mortgages, Marilyn Brown-Ross. Good to have you here. Good to be here. So, you know, reverse mortgages... You know, again, it's a great way to get some money out of your house tax free, makes you not have to spend down other assets, cash in other assets. You don't have to go sell your house and find new neighbors or go live someplace where there's bugs and humidity and <laughs> all that stuff. Right. The That's stuff I right. don't like. Uh, I don't mind visiting those places, but I don't know if I, I want to live there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to be at 120 degrees with no, almost no water in Vegas or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. You know, in terms of the reverse mortgages, I, I know they've changed in some of its like the main program, I mean, it's got almost a cool name, the Heckam, but you know, oh, not Heck- almost, not quite as good, not, you know, quite, not as quite as Heckman, Heckman but right. yeah. The Heckam is, it stands for Home Equity Conversion Mortgage. And when I started in this business 17 years ago, the max claim amount, there's a max claim amount on the Heckam, mm-hmm. which means whatever that the government sets that number you only get a portion of that depending so, on how old you are. So it's kind of like the max equity or max value, it, max value of your house. I it guess was like kind of, 250 some thousand back then. Today yeah. it's 970,800. Wow. Yeah. So it a, went way up. But it's almost then, getting up to a barrier of standards. <laughs> yeah. Well, then there's the jumbo. Honestly, mm-hmm. I've been in this area. It's mostly jumbos because the jumbo, anything over a million, sometimes it'll work depending on what the client needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes 
the Heckam is okay, even if the house is a million five or two million, because they don't need that much money. Yeah, if they got a two or three hundred thousand dollar mortgage, then that's yeah, exactly, you don't need to you don't borrow need that. that much. So it depends. I always do a, of course, a, a, an analysis for each, and I'll show each one. I'll show the Heckam what it will do. I'll show the jumbo, and the jumbo goes up to four million. So wow. I think it's actually. I should know this, but I'm pretty sure I just saw something that came, they raised that also. So, and it depending, the younger you are, the less money is available. The yeah. Older, so, so you get a percentage of that. So you typically you have to be 62, although you said there is some yes. little. Well, that stuff was for, for the heck of my. For the, the yeah. federal. Um, but they, they take your age and, you know, you could have two homes next door to each other exactly the same one owner is 62 the other one is 85 well the 85 year old is going to get a whole lot more money than the 62 year old that's just how yeah. it's based mainly because they're pretty sure the bank might get the money back sooner exactly <laughs> yeah so. but uh so that it's all i do that analysis no charge of course and yeah uh, my motto is i do it i give it to you if you like it great if you don't that's okay too i'm not the person that's going to call you every five minutes. I get calls from so many people. Oh my God, I talked to this person and they're, they're calling me five times a day. I don't do that. Oh, geez. Yeah. Those, yeah. those 800 numbers, of those oh. TV show, you know, the old, old ex famous person who's, yes. you know, pitching you on whatever these things are. And, and I, uh, I just say, hey, here it is. Let's go over it. I go over it. I like to meet in person if the person is willing. I think it's just, I like to see them. I like them to see me in you know, yeah. set the stage, but I, I'll leave it to them. All the different scenarios I've done, and and, and you also meet with like the adult children too. Absolutely, to see, yeah. And, if and they make, say my yeah. children want to meet, absolutely bring in whoever you want. Yeah, doesn't matter. I yeah. I like it when they do because they have questions that I can answer. So yes, I have any of that. Yeah, well, and also I mean one thing that um, you know people don't always think about is. You know, like uh, I had a client who um, uh, she inherited her mom's home, her and her sister, I should say, you know, it was like two and a half million dollars, right? No tax. Yeah, you know, mom had paid 40 grand for that house in Sunnyvale, you know, way, way back when, right? A couple of years later, she sells her house. She owes, you know, several hundred thousand of, of tax on her own personal house, right? Um, and yes. and why is that? Well, that's the step up in basis. So the step up in basis was threatened, but didn't go away. And so one thing that people don't always realize is they say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to take a reverse mortgage out because I want to leave more to the kids. Well, if you go sell the house and you pay a couple hundred thousand or 500,000 or more in, in taxes for the capital gain, Less for the kids. Less for the kids. Yeah, it'd be better to right. take two or three hundred or whatever you needed to keep living in that house or to fix it up or to pay off that mortgage and and then leave that asset now, you know, tax free to the kids. And of course, yeah, they can turn around and sell it tax free or if they want to move into it, all that stuff. But yeah, the reverse mortgage, I think, is kind of a great tool for, for that. Right. It is. And, and, and I know tool. you've had cases where people have done that before. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It really does work well. Yeah. And then, you know, I, I know a lot of lots of times, yeah, I think you usually say, was it almost a third or maybe half the time it's it's medical related, unfortunately, right? Yes. That they've got maybe they somebody don't. wants to stay home and have somebody take care of them. I'm working on one right as we speak. Um, and it's been a challenge because we need doctor's letters. They need to send. She's incompetent. I'm working with the son. He's the power of attorney. Mm -hmm. So everything has to be in place because they, they look at every little thing. And we're just coming to the end. The doctor, we had to have two letters, one saying that she's incompetent and one, what well, could have been one letter and one stating when she became incompetent because the power of attorney was signed oh. in 2016. Well, if she became incompetent in 2015, yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> that wouldn't work. So we've gone through all of that. So we're down at the last stage. Now the doctors wrote the letter but they didn't sign it. <laughs> so I've got to get it signed. Jeez. But we're at the end. So yeah, yeah it's been and, a little... and so basically now the son's going to have the money to take to... care of mom and, and keep her mom. where she wants to be. Yes. And... Mom had said to him all along, please don't, if I become incompetent, I really want to be in my home. And he said, I want to, I want to abide by what my mother wanted. So they used up all her money. The house is free and clear. So now she's got a nice line of credit. I know she's old and whatever he said, I don't care. 
what's left because this is my mother's wishes. This is her home, not mine. She took care of me and I'm going to take care of her with what she wanted. So it's, it's all works out great. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine how awful that'd be if they had to sell the house and go against her wishes, exactly. kick her out to some facility or right. something. And, and then of course the worst part, pay all the taxes, which is awful. Because um, I mean, at least he'll yeah, yes. when he does inherit whatever values there, it's all tax free, and then he can pay off that mortgage and, and you know, sell. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's a really nice for seniors. Yeah, and, and so yeah, so some of the things, yeah, uh, like you said, you have to be sixty two, and it depends on the on the program, age and which the one? program, right. and how much you get and right. stuff, and you know, so yeah, you know, th- obviously that's one one kind of maybe not as nice reason. But, you know, the other thing too is, uh, I remember years ago, I had a client that uh, unfortunately passed away now, but they lived in the place 45 years and they were they had a wall heater. I'm like, well, come on, just get central heat and air. <laughs> you know, you're here all day long, wow. you know? And so they finally broke down to do it. But yeah, there's a lot of people that they want to do some improvements and then they're like, Oh, I don't want to spend money. And right. Yeah. You know, but if you've got that money, I mean, I, I know you've done some where people I've done very much some, so. some remodels, right? Yes. Oh yeah. They need to remodel. You know, we've lived here now. We need to redo the bathroom mainly because we need uh, he's wheelchair. Oh yeah. The bars all and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. All the bars. And we want to get, just get that redone, make it easier. Life, yeah. You know, life is short. We have to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so that's a great way to, to get get more money and 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 again not have to sell assets because maybe they even have the money someplace but that may cause them a lot of taxes or if it was all an IRA and they had to take a ton of that out to pay for that remodel Absolutely. they might jump up multiple brackets and right. be super expensive and you know so so there's lots of different uses but uh, yeah, probably the the one I always like is um uh you know because it is so much nicer to to see the smile so maybe yeah why don't you tell me the story about about the the lady who wanted to see her she helping. wanted to see she was nine. Oh, this has been a while back yeah and she said i when i die i'm not going to get to see what i'm leave the joy that my not that they're going to be happy that i died but <laughs> what i want to leave them and i want to see it on their face so she it was her 90th birthday i think and she did a reverse mortgage and there was nine grandchildren and she gave them each ten thousand dollars and she said, that's what I want. I don't want them to get it when I die. And I don't get to see how happy it's going to make them. They had, she had a big party up in San Francisco at the Fairmont and handed out these checks to her grandchildren. And I, it was just her. She was thrilled. It made her the rest of her days. I mean, she's gone now. But she said, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to see their happiness. And that, that's great. You yeah. Know? And also, I mean, if you think about it, too. You know, if she had she helped them five or 10 years later and they got the money, well, they may have been able to get that house or they may have been able to do invest that money or do Absolutely. something else. So that money now also yeah. by getting it to them sooner, if she didn't need it, yeah. you know, well, she that, did then, the reverse. And she, she didn't have it. She said, yeah, well, that's true. She didn't even have it. She didn't have yeah, it, it all to give. House. So it was all in the house. And she said, I'm going to take it out. I want to see what it looks like to give it to them. Yeah. So <laughs> she took it out tax free, gave it to them tax free. Right. And they were you know, thrilled. They're, they're all being helped immensely by that. And Absolutely. like you said, she got that nice smile and the nice feeling of being able to do it and Help while, while Help she was there. While she saw it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, they still get the house tax free when, when she passed right. away and That's stuff. That's exactly so, right. Yeah. So, you know, so if somebody wants to, uh, you know, really kind of figure out their situation and, and get some help from you. Yeah. What, what's the best way to, for them to get a hold of you? Call me 408-722-0010. Yeah, so you can call or text, right? Either so one. yeah, so why don't you give me that number out again? 408-722-0010. Yeah, we always have a link actually at wealthcreatorradio.com uh, also for that. So uh, if somebody wants to email or reach out to you, but um, you know, it was great having you on. Thanks for educating great. people. And uh, with that, we'll be right back on Wealth Thank Creator you. Radio. Great being here. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. There's a particular time of life this phrase couldn't be more appropriate. How can you know you'll live the retirement you've always imagined? After all, life can be so unpredictable. You've worked hard and saved. Watch your accounts go up and down with the market. Your advisor says, don't worry, you'll be fine. But you still don't feel confident. Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial has a checklist to help you find out if you're on the right track for retirement. Take his checklist challenge. If you can check all the boxes with confidence, 
you may be ready for retirement. If not, Eric can help you address any potential costly mistakes. To get Eric Heckman at Heckman Financial's complimentary checklist, call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. See if you've got it right. Take the checklist challenge today. Call or text LIST to 800-454-1184. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Remember, you can text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184 to get this digital toolbox from Eric, including his book and other wonderful educational materials about retirement. Now, Eric, you and I often discuss challenges and risks in retirement. And so I thought we'd bring another story about someone who's experienced some obstacles in retirement. We call it a financial fail. So, Eric, what do you have for us today? Well, this one's more of a, I guess, a compilation is, you know, probably the best way to say it is uh, sometimes people, for whatever reason, they just think they should go for it or they don't realize how much they're putting in one, one spot, right? And I have one client that uh, he's like, okay, all I need is like 50000 more for Bitcoin and I'll get that house in Pismo Beach and, and be moving. Well, you know, then of course, Bitcoin <laughs> tanked huge and uh, yeah, that he ain't getting that house anytime soon. Um, and then I had some other clients that said, Hey, and you know, at the beginning of, uh, 2022, they said, Hey, we, we've got some extra cash. Let's, let's go for it. They must've looked up every high risk tech stock that you could possibly <laughs> buy. I'd never seen somebody lose money so fast. Um, I mean, they had 80% losses on several stocks and, you know, j- just kind of, you know, huge things. And, you know, and then same with, with, companies, you know, with, with people who work at, you know, at a certain company and, you know, they'll, they'll sit on that company stock just thinking it's going to always be great. And then it, you know, dives down and then they're getting close to retirement and now all of a sudden they don't have all that money. And so we all know you're supposed to diversify, but sometimes it doesn't sound fun, right? right. Especially when something's shooting up a bunch. Uh, you know, I've, I've got one client at Apple who we've just always been selling off 10 or 15% and, sometimes we sell off 10 or 15 and it shot back up. So it was great, but sometimes it also went back and went down and it was good that we did it. Right. So, um, you know, you really should never have more than 10% of your overall what net worth in any one, you know, investment, you know, if it's a stock or Bitcoin or whatever it is. Right. And, you know, unfortunately people still do that. And, you know, you want to have some tools, you want to have some education out there. So again, get that toolbox. We've got a lot of great things about how to find the right balance, uh, how to make sure your money lasts. <laughs> you know, those are obviously big ways to not fail. Um, and then you can even read the book or worry less wealth. So again, if you want to copy of that toolbox, all you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, 800-454-1184. Or you can uh, download uh, or link to it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week. Information provided during Wealth Creator Radio is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment tax or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment legal or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. Eric Heckman offers investment advisory services through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Any tax advice given as part of this presentation is not intended to be used and cannot be used by the taxpayer for the purpose of avoiding tax penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any matter or transaction addressed herein. The views and opinions expressed in the program are not necessarily those of the radio station or its sponsors, and they should not construe as legal, tax, or investment advice. You should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision.